Good morning, every, everyone. Thank you so much for participating in the meeting. And uh, my paper is uh, about the Beitul Maqdis conquest and Islamic approach to conflict and coexistence. So it is historical, and from another point of view, also we uh, look from Islamic point of view. Uh, both historical and from the Islamic point of view and from the third point of view. Uh, throughout history, uh, Beit al Maqdis or Jerusalem. In fact, sometimes when I say Beit al Maqdis, uh, it is an Arabic word, normally Arabs and Muslim use, and in English, normally we use Jerusalem. So uh, if I say Beit al Maqdis, that means same thing, Jerusalem. So Beit al Maqdis and Jerusalem uh, has a long history of invention or conquest. So from the earlier day, if you start uh, conquered by Jews, conquered by Babylon, conquered by uh, uh, Romans, then Muslim, then uh, anyhow, uh, Persian and Roman, and you know, many uh, conquer we have. So the last no, it is conquered by Zionism. When I say Zionism, you have to differentiate between Zionism and Judaism. Because Judaism is a religion, and it has many followers. Um, but among the uh, Judaism also, we have some people, Jewish people, who are opposing Zionism. So Zionism is different from Judaism. I mean, especially today also, you can see demonstration some Jews also support uh, Palestinian because they are opposing the Zionism. So we have to differentiate between these two because that is based on national and political and religious uh, uh, movement, but Judaism is religious. So, uh, but one thing that it is important to uh, concentrate is that among all these uh, conquests, Muslim conquest this uh, land peacefully, not by bloodshed and violence. It was violent because it was a war, but anyhow, war, we have to conduct war. You can have a bloodshed, you can have a, uh, uh, what is that, ethnic cleansing, destruction of city and this and that, but you can have also uh, mm, you can solve the problems peacefully. So among all those, in fact, we have twice uh, Muslim conquered this uh, city. Both of them, it is uh, interesting that it was without bloodshed, uh, that means heavy bloodshed or destruction of temple, destruction of uh, churches or other things. It was interesting. If it was one time, maybe it was an accident, but since during the uh, first period, that means Omar uh, conquest, and also during Salahuddin uh, Ayyubi, both of them surrounded the city, but finally, without bloodshed, without destruction, without ethnic cleansing, they conquered the land, and also all the uh, religion, the religions, they could uh, live together, and they could uh, live together peacefully. So it was an uh, important issue for me to concentrate why this conquest is different from others. In Islam, in fact, we have uh, some teaching that uh, Muslims should observe in Quran. It is clearly has mentioned in Quran that Muslims should uh, observe justice within, especially during the war time, because when there is a war, normally revenge, angers, it is 
uh, arisen. <coughs> so during that period, you have to have uh, enough control over yourself. Maybe you can be just in normal case, but when there is a fight or fighting, then you have to have more control on yourself. So we have uh, in Quran, the, it's especially says, and uh, also, that means you should not be aggressive, you should not be uh, aggressor. So this is the thing, it's at the same time when in Quran says, you should fight in the way of God, at the same time emphasize that you should not be aggressor, you should not be invader. That means you should observe justice. This teaching, in fact, has very important uh, influence on Muslims. Uh, so in uh, my paper, I am trying to review the history of conquest. And at the same time, I try to uh, uh, mention uh, alongside of my history review also mention uh, the important teaching of Islam which teaches the uh, justice and uh, condemn uh, aggressions and also try to control the anger and control the Muslims and especially uh, it is mentioned that you should not retaliate uh, unjustly and you should use force responsibly. You are responsible how to use force. Yes, you are very strong. You can do whatever it, uh, you want, uh, uh, you wish, but you should control yourself. You should observe justice and not to go towards, uh, towards uh, killing because war is different from killing. It is the, that means jihad fi sabilillah, the war in the way of God, it is not licensed for killing. Because in, uh, we have Arabic uh, professor, uh, Professor Mona is here from, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, she is Arab, and also uh, our professor, and Professor uh, uh, Yun also, <laughs> he's a specialist and expert. We have qatl in Arabic and we have qatal. Qatl, that means killing. Qatal, that means fighting. That means both sides are fighting together. This is two issues. Qatal is from mufa'ila. Fa'ala yufa'ila mufa'ila. That means two sides. It has two sides. Qatal has two sides. That means this side also fighting, the other side also fighting. Qatal is different from qatl. So in Quran says, you can have qatal in this way of God, but it is different from killing. That means in war, you should observe yourself. It is not licensed for killing and massacre. So the, in Islam, it is mentioned that we have to control. In our paper, we are going to mention also at this uh, last about the uh, letter of pro protection letter of Omar, which has given to the people of the Palestine. I don't have time? No, no, you have 10 minutes time. Oh, very short time. Yeah, because so, you said your introduction. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to go faster. <laughs> I have to go faster. In fact, uh, the, uh, during the period of Persian and Roman, they had fought in all these areas. You can see the Eastern uh, Mediterranean and uh, Africa, that means uh, the uh, Egypt, and also t Turkey today is all the places where fighting together, that means Persian and Roman fighting against each other from six, uh, 602 to 628. That means 628, they were fighting almost for three decades, they were fighting in all over the places. And uh, during this period which they were fighting together, uh, Islam raised in, uh, in uh, Arabia. Uh, by that time, in fact, uh, Prophet Muhammad had a chance to uh, bring all these uh, people together and make unite them. And in Medina, he they welcomed the uh, welcome Prophet Muhammad, and it was the first uh, almost peaceful conquer because it's not was it was not conquered, but it was when Prophet Muhammad welcome he established first uh, uh, what is that government in Medina without any. 
uh, conquering or with the, anything like that. So during that period, in fact, there was fighting between uh, these two superpowers. And when Islam uh, raised, in fact, they had also conflict with Romans. So uh, the new government, Muslim government in, in Arabia, the first, uh, for the first time, they conflict, they had a war with Romans, and they heavily also defeated. So Prophet Muhammad, again, they tried to, he tried to uh, conquer the land, uh, to, to, to defeat the enemy, that means the uh, Roman Empire, but uh, in fact he was, he was defeated and he arranged several times, also two times, also to send troops to the uh, border to fight with Roman, but uh, he died, finally he died, uh, and he couldn't. And then this, the first caliph and second caliph continued the conflict with the Roman Empire. And the reason why they, uh, they had also, because uh, some of the, in some of the border, they have killed some Muslims, uh, maybe traders or also some missionaries, Muslim missionaries, since they killed, they, uh, it was the first uh, reason for the conflict, and then the Khalafas also continued. So when the uh, first caliph conquered the land, the, the Roman Empire, so during that period they reached the, uh, what is the, they reached the Jerusalem. Uh, for, for the first time, uh, in fact, uh, it was a, first they have invited the uh, city to surrender peacefully. And normally in uh, Islamic model, you can invite the enemy to Islam, and then they are like you, uh, and they have to surrender and became Muslim, uh, or they can observe their, uh, their uh, religion, they can follow their religion, but they have to pay uh, jizya and tax, and also they will be under the protection of Muslim government. So this was the first, when they, before they start the war, Abu Ubaidah sent the letter to the, uh, to the uh, Betul Maqdis, but they didn't agree. And then it gone to violence. That means they have surrounded the city, and city also tried to support itself from the wall. And for four months, they were behind the wall. And uh, finally, after four months, especially it was during the, per uh, what is during the winter time, so they decided to negotiate. And always, from Muslim side, always the door of peace talk and negotiation and policy is open, always. Because Islam recommended that you should not close this door. And whenever uh, the enemy, in any case, in any situation, if they ask peace, you have to ex uh, accept. That means if they like to, to, to go to our diplomacy and negotiation and peace, you should accept. That means as a Muslim, always the door is open. So based on that, it's Muslims also accepted, and they entered to the peace talk. But one condition was there for, uh, one condition was there from the city that they have to, yeah, the first caliph should come, the second caliph should come from Medina to Beit al -Maqdis. So it was a long way. Today you also you have to travel from Medina to uh, to Beit al -Maqdis. It is a quite long, but anyhow, after consultation, he decided to come to Beit al -Maqdis for talk. Anyhow, the talk has started, and finally, based on agreement, they decided to surrender the city because there was no any support from the Roman Empire, and they were also tired and exhausted. So they surrounded the city to, uh, to uh, Omar based on letters, letters of protection. So in letter of protection, Omar has given this protection that uh, you are protected by law, by my, my, my letter, you are guaranteed. So your life will be protected, your property will be protected, 
And according to that, life and Turkey, all the militaries uh, which are stationed, and that means all the militaries, the Roman em uh, Empire militaries uh, stationed in uh, Beit al Magdes, they have to go peacefully out. And also, all those people who prefer to go and live with, uh, uh, in uh, Roman uh, territory, they have to be safe and protected. And without any problem, they should go to. Uh, to Roman Empire. So I know that uh, my time is almost finished, and uh, <laughs> Professor Muller also is going to, be, to give me a notification. <laughs> <laughs> Very soon, yes. But uh, yes. So how many minutes I can go on? If you can do it in two minutes. OK. <laughs> so it's almost uh, 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 done. So based on that protection letter, uh, the uh, Muslims Muslims should protect the life and pro property of the people. And also people, uh, in fact, the, in Islam, it is uh, a recognition of diversity is the first things which Islam is recognized. Because during the Medina time also, during the Prophet Muhammad time, it was a Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, traditional Prophet Muhammad. He lived with the non-Muslim also peacefully. Only they have to pay jizya and tax. So they had this experience earlier. And uh, even during the conquest of Mecca, it was the second experience. Prophet Muhammad conquered the Mecca peacefully. And uh, so they had this experience. And it was not uh, strange for the Muslim to enter the city and conquer city with agreement and with uh, letter, for, for letter of protection. So the dignity of human beings should be observed. And they have uh, followed these people. Keep these people also under the protection they have gone to. Uh, join the um, uh, join the Roman Empire, so it was peacefully done. And the other people who lived there, they were uh, religious. Their religious places should be uh, uh, protected, and they protected them. And only they have to pay their uh, taxes. And in fact, it was they have uh, free to govern their own society because uh, at that time it was normal. And even today, when you can see that we have in Jerusalem, we have uh, Jewish uh, locality, we have Christian locality, and we have a Muslim neighborhood. So they are separately. At that time, it was the Muslim uh, custom and tradition that they used to govern and control their affairs freely. Education are uh, free. Their uh, courts are uh, free. They can have their own courts. They can have their own education. Any or some type of autonomy is there. Uh, since you have paper, I don't want to disturb you more. And thank you so much for listening.